Guess who's coming to visit today? Abuelita y abuelito. That's right, daddy's mommy and daddy. You remember them? Short Colombian woman? Stiff British man. <laughs> oh, you want the mouse song. I saw a mouse. Where? There on the stair. Where on the stair? Right there. A little mouse with clogs on. What you doing? Apparently, when you have a child, you turn gay. Oh, here. You didn't have to buy fancy new sheets for my mom. Oh, I didn't. She FedExed them from home with instructions on how to make the bed. That's not insulting, is it? No more insulting than when your mom gave me lessons on oral hygiene using Toothy the Flossing Bunny. You know, it's not too late to set them up at a hotel. We could forward the sheets. They're only here for four days. Right, but four days is a long time with your parents and my parents and our parents together. With the accusations and apologies, it really ends up to be like a month and a half. Okay, let's think positive. All right, maybe you're wrong. Maybe it'll be great. Maybe the christening will bring the families together. It would be so much easier if your mother didn't hate me. My mother doesn't hate you. Yes, she does, ever since she heard us having sex in her house. Honey, language, the baby. Oh, I'm sorry, ever since she heard us having cake in her house. I like cake. Cake's good. Well, she didn't like us having premarital cake. That's because she's Colombian and you were sending me to hell. Mm -hmm. We got married, I birthed a grandson, get over it already. You know, one of these days, Ian's gonna be having premarital cake. How are you gonna deal with it? Yeah, I'd like to meet the little slut who tries. <laughs> You should wear this tomorrow. I have to wear a tie? It's a christening, of course you have to wear a tie. I thought when it was your own son, you didn't have to. Where would you get that? Earl told me. You don't know anyone named Earl. Fine, I'll wear the tie. Oh God, they're here. I have 12 seconds to disinfect the kitchen. Deep breaths, okay? Remember, it's only four days. Four days. <laughs> but, uh, Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, since when do we need a reason? Are Andrew's parents here yet? Not yet. I guess we beat them. Not that it's a competition. <laughs> but if it was, we won. Hey, uh, Andrew, I came up with a terrific slogan for your business. At Kennedy Landscaping, the future is now. You get it? Not really. Yeah, yeah, it looks great on these 200 t-shirts. Uh, pay me back whenever you get a chance. Where's the baby? Oh, he went to the store to pick up beer and chips. It's his poker night. <laughs> He's napping. Hey, uh, look, while I'm here, why don't I help you put together that plate penny yours? Oh, no need. Uh, I got it under control. Uh, how far you gotten? I almost figured out how to open the box. And we're halfway there. So, for the pre-christening brunch, we brought the coffee maker, some serving spoons. Oh, and what's this? It's nothing. It's just a gift. Special gift. <laughs> Perhaps the most special gift you'll ever receive. Can I open it? Who's stopping you? <laughs> This is it. This is the christening outfit. You like it? Oh my God, oh. Mom, it's the one that we saw in the window next to the lunch place that day in New York. Well, it's not in the window anymore. <laughs> Mom, Ian is gonna look so beautiful oh. in this. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, I've been thinking about the brunch tomorrow and I'm very worried. <laughs> no, Mom, there's nothing to be worried about. I'm very worried. <laughs> what if there isn't enough food? There's plenty of food. We invited the McNamaras. The McNamaras like to eat. There's more than enough. And the Milligans and Roger and Bruce. 
Maybe there isn't enough. Maybe there isn't. The playpen's coming along. If you're wondering what that smell is, your dad set fire to the instructions. He said that for wussies. Honey, I don't think we have enough food for tomorrow. Are you kidding? There's enough food to feed half of Connecticut. Honey, she does this to you all the time. She cranks you up and then just walks away. You're right. I know. I know. But a couple more lasagnas wouldn't hurt. By the way, you might not want to serve anything too ethnic. Your grandmother's coming. Great! Does Nan have to come to the brunch? Well, she's my grandmother, so yes. Couldn't she just meet us at church? It's so much closer to her house and... She's not going to insult your parents. Of course she will. Not on purpose. It's never on purpose, it just happens. Like the time she told my brother's girlfriend that Catherine couldn't possibly be a Jew name. She was just making conversation. Or the black doctor at the hospital. Okay, that was bad. But she apologized and even the lawyers were charmed by her. Oh goody, all our parents are here. Come on, it'll be fun, like a roller coaster. That's broken. Andrew, hola, ¿cómo está? Qué bien. Es verte, no está recio. Gracias. Where's Dad? He's parking the car. I was so excited, I got out while it was still moving. Oh, and there she is, my beautiful daughter-in-law. Oh, look at this. <laughs> My grandson must have quite an appetite. <gasps> Mom, could you please stop doing that? What? Funneling my wife's breasts. I wasn't. Bite your tongue. Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, oh. Hey, looking well, son. Oh, hello, Amy. Hi, Malcolm. Oh, mwah, mwah. Oh. <laughs> How was your flight? Oh, quite good, except we had one of those perky stewards to try to make idle banter. It's an aeroplane, not a talk show. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Hello there! Kathy. <laughs> we were worried you wouldn't come. Why wouldn't we come? Oh, I don't know. Things happen, plans change. The important thing is, here you are. Hello. Welcome. Ben, it's such a pleasure to see you. Oh. That's a surprise. Thank you. Louisa. Hello. You look even lovelier than the last time I saw you. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't she, Kathy? Yes, yes. I love your handbag. Where did Baxter go? Who? Baxter! What's this? It's a dog. It's for the baby. Picked him up at the local shelter. Dad, you don't bring people dogs. That's what I told him. Come, come, come. Every boy needs a dog. It teaches loyalty, stability. Dad, we can't have a dog. We're still trying to figure out Ian. Oh, kids are simple. All they want are three things. Food, sleep, and cartoons. Did I say candy? Four things. And toys. Oh. Be sure to wash your hands afterwards. Dogs' heads are filthy. Actually, it's uh, ferrets' heads that are filthy. They say you could eat off a dog's head. And I've done it. Louisa, come, let me show you the latest batch of photos of my grandson. Our grandson. Oh, of course. So easy to forget. Actually, Mom, I'm sure Malcolm and Louisa would love to get settled. Oh. Yes. Yeah, let me help you with your bags. Dad, what's in here? Uh, medicated creams and lotions. Oh, didn't I mention the dog is allergic to his own hair? I hope this will be okay for you. Yes. Where have I heard this sound before? <laughs> oh, 
Well, we're, we're married now. And frankly, it was his idea in the first place. Uh, what was? I don't know, whatever you're implying. Dad, why is the dog staring at the ottoman? Oh, didn't I mention? He's terribly far-sighted. He probably thinks that ottoman is an intruder or some such thing. Good boy. <laughs> Something wrong? No, no. Amy and I were just reminiscing. <laughs> oh, and while we have this moment alone, I brought you a gift. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> it is for Ian's christening. <laughs> oh. I, uh, I made it by hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you see this? Yeah, it's stunning. <laughs> no, 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 no. You will notice that the semi-precious stones, of which there are 263, <laughs> have been hand-drilled and anchored to offset the reverse cross-stitching of the scallop trim. <laughs> Did I just hear the baby cry? I don't think so. And the ribbon. The ribbon is from my wedding gown. <laughs> wow! Thanks, Mom. Can you believe this? Yeah, wow, huh? Yeah. There he goes again. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I think he just said, help me. <laughs> What are we gonna do? About what? My mom already gave us a christening outfit. Oh, well, that's awfully nice. <laughs> are you paying attention? Now we have two outfits. That's twice as many as we have babies. Well, then we'll just pick one. Oh, is that all? <laughs> See, I, I thought we had a problem. I thought if we picked my mom's outfit that your mom would never forgive us, and if we chose your mom's, then my mom will have a coronary and die. <laughs> All right, all right, calm down. The christening isn't until tomorrow. That gives us all night to figure it out. It'll be fine. You think so? Absolutely. Uh-oh. You got that right. <laughs> hey, don't we need more lasagna? Let's go to the store. Great. Watch the baby, Mom. OK, bye-bye. <laughs> well, at least with them mad at each other, they can't be mad at us. Shut up! Wrong again. Do you know what's good about getting our parents together? What? No, I'm asking because I can't think of a thing. Hey, perdón, ¿me puedes decir dónde tienen las galletas saladas? He wants to know what aisle the crackers are on. Oh, I know what he said, I just can't believe he said it in Spanish. He has sort of a Ryan Seacrest kind of look. <laughs> yeah, he's half Colombian, so he likes to show off. You know what I'm doing? Yeah, you're showing off, aisle six. <laughs> so what do you think your dad will like, Ritz or saltines? Ritz or saltines? What kind of trashy American crap is this? <laughs> These are the choices. Brits. I don't know how this became about us. The fighting, the tension. They're supposed to be grown-ups. We just have to remember not to let them get between us. They won't. Don't be so sure. Remember the wedding? I believe the correct phrase is, I do. Not fine. Where is everybody? Oh, uh, the women stared at each other for quite a stretch. Amy's parents eventually went home, and Louise was upstairs explaining the concept of hell to the baby. Huh. I thought she was going to save that for his birthday. Did either of them seem like they were going to back down? And be gracious about it? No. <laughs> Dad, what can I do? Son, <laughs> God gave men wisdom and women passion. Now, these women are clearly very passionate about their respective gowns, and I'm using my God-given wisdom to stay out of it. 
Now, tell me, son. What do you think of New Canaan? It's beautiful. Ah, then it's settled. What is? We're moving to New Canaan. <laughs> moving to New Canaan to be closer to you and the baby and be part of your lives on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, but... Shall we go upstairs and tell Amy the good news? Oh, no! No. I mean, no. <laughs> I'll tell her. <laughs> It'll be fun for me. Baby's asleep. Andrew, what are we gonna do about this dog? Uh, your mom's birthday's coming up. <laughs> this is just the tip of the iceberg, you know. Dogs, gowns, they're gonna want to have a say in everything, like how much allowance he gets or where he'll go to college. Well, that's easy. I just assume he'd go to my school. Really? State? You don't have to say it like it's a clown college. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of thought he'd go to my alma mater. Snapville Academy over in Fancy Town? See, we have a problem here. I know, I know. Can't believe how tired I am. Oh, thank God your parents are only here for four days. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, any longer. I think I. Okay, would... night night. <laughs> are you going to turn off the light? Can't. Dog's afraid of the dark. Why don't you take it? You had all the rest. You are amazingly alert for someone who's had a liter of wine. Say, Ben, uh, I hate to bother you, but I tossed a blanket into the, the playpen and the sides fell off. Oh, yeah, I think it's supposed to do that. It's kind of a safety feature. Uh, if you want, I can jerry-rig him to stay on. Yeah, thanks. Tell me, how did Amy respond to the news that we're relocating? Hmm? Was she overwhelmed with joy? Uh, yeah, she was. Huh? In fact, she was so excited that she'd rather not talk about it at all today. You know, so as not to overshadow the blessed event, because it's, it's so exciting and... Huge. What are you guys talking about? Oh, um, nothing we want to talk about today. <laughs> so, fun party, huh? <laughs> fun? I keep waiting for those guys to confront me. Don't worry about it. If they've asked us what we've decided, just let me handle it. Okay. All right, we can't stand it anymore. Tell us which gown you have chosen. Sure. Of course, after a great deal of discussion and deliberation, we have decided... What? Oh, more ice! I can show you where that is! One sec. Who was he talking to? I don't know, but I'm gonna go check and then I'll come right back and tell you. Oh, no you don't. You're not going anywhere until you tell us what we want to know. Did you pick mine? Or the one I made, the pretty one? Like Andrew said, we were talking about it, and, and... Nah, dear! Everybody down here! Lay it flat, Chief. Don't hang it. I'm a guest here, too. Great. Then you know where the bar is. Get me a scotch and put an ashtray on the porch, will you? <laughs> Amy, you look beautiful. I'm so glad you're here. Who's the hunk on the couch? <laughs> It's a dog, Nan. Cripes, I gotta get my eyes checked. I'm surprised they still let me drive. Hi, Mom. How are you? Couldn't be better. The doctor uh, took a look at that strange mole on my arm. Turns out it's magic marker. What's to eat? Well, there's a ham and some potato salad, and the empanadas are terrific. Empanadas, that's Spanish, isn't it? Mom, don't start. I didn't say anything. You want to serve Spanish at your party? It's your business. Hello, young lady. Oh. I'm glad you two are together because I brought a gift for the little guy. A christening suit. Mom, I bought Ian a christening gown. And I made one by hand. Well, I guess you two are just quack out of luck because I'm the great-grandmother. 
and I don't want my little guy wearing a gown. The next thing you know, he's smoking clove cigarettes and dancing on a float. <laughs> You don't know what to say. Hey, blue suit, where's that drink? <laughs> Mom, just so you know, we were gonna choose your gown. Really? Amy insisted. Mom, I shouldn't tell you this because I wouldn't want Louisa to be upset, but we were totally gonna choose your gown. <laughs> you were. Yes, Andrew insisted. So we'll use it for the next child. Absolutely. So we'll use it for the next child. I give you my word. <laughs> Boy, Nan sure saved us today. Excuse me, whose idea was it for Nan to bring over that suit? Yours. Whose? Yours, you're the genius. That's right, baby. You're in bed with the smartest man in the universe. <laughs> and he went to stay. Uh. <laughs> Good night, honey. Good night, Amy. Good night, Good night Baxter. Baxter. <laughs> oh, by the way, I totally forgot to tell you. Funny thing, my parents are moving here. Night, night. I'm not saying I was the prettiest rocket, but I kicked the highest. Jack Dempsey came backstage one day and said, hey, Gams, I'm taking you out for a steak. I said I had one before the show, but what the hell? Hey, I got a social security check that's burning a hole in my purse. What do you say we blow out of here and go to Atlantic City? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> You're that damn dog from before. <laughs> well, guess that means I'm driving. 